Hey everyone, in this tutorial you're going to learn how to export iMotion files from iClone to your own custom rig in Maya. In this preview you can see the iMotion data that I've taken from 3D Exchange on the right, while on the left side is the same motion data that has been applied to my custom rig character in Maya. Okay, now in the first step we're going to prepare the iMotion for export via 3D Exchange. Here you can see we have Jimmy Toon. I'm going to right click him and apply a motion from his perform menu. Keep in mind that all iClone embedded motions are free for export completely royalty free. After Jimmy's done shaking his booty, I'm going to go into the timeline here to capture that motion. In the timeline, I want to open up the motion and collect clip tracks. And what I want to do is click and drag in the collect clip track for the duration of the motion. Then right click and select add to 3D exchange. Right away you'll see the motion appear in 3D Exchange on our default template model. After that, you'll need to move the motion down to the perform list in order to export it. I'll just choose FBX export and create a name for my motion. Just make sure that you only have include animation selected. Then go ahead and export. Ok, in the next step, we're going to do characterization and motion retargeting in Maya. So go ahead and open up your custom character mesh in Maya. You can hide some elements you won't need for this process as well if you'd like. Ok, now the human IK system is going to act as an intermediary in our motion retargeting. So what I want to do first is go ahead and click Define Skeleton in the character controls. Since we'll import the motion data later, you might want to rename the character at this point to avoid confusion in selecting the characters. I'll just go ahead and rename mine Custom Rig. Ok, so let's move on to the mapping part now. From here, I just need to select and map the bones one by one. I'll go ahead and speed this part up a bit for you as it's pretty straightforward. Once you're finished with the bone mapping however, remember to activate the lock to keep the bone mapping profile. Next, I want to import the iClone motion that I just exported from 3D Exchange. In the import options, I want to make sure I have Add selected for file content in the Include section. However, make sure that the animation box is deselected, as we need the T-pose for motion data characterization. When it's imported, the first thing I want to do is select Create Skeleton Definition for Motion Data. Next, I want to characterize the motion character. This time around, I can load a skeleton definition Reillusion has provided instead of going through the mapping procedure again. The one I want here is RL underscore motion bone. After that, I just need to click on lock to finish the bone mapping procedure. Now is when I want to import my motion data, so I'll go ahead and do that. This time the option I want to select is update animation, and I want to make sure the animation box is selected as well. After the import is done, you can drag the timeline to make sure the import was successful. Ok, so now since I've already done the bone mapping and characterization process, my next step is to bake the animation from the bone to the human IK control rig. So let's go up to the bake option and then select bake to control rig. It might take a minute to bake the animation to the new control rig, but when it's done, you'll see an additional Human IK control rig complete with animation. Next, I want to select my little custom rig character here and once again switch to definition mode. I then want to click on Create Custom Rig Mapping. After that, I want to select and map my control rig one by one. Next, I want to switch to Motion Character in the Source drop-down list. And after that's done, you can now drag the timeline to see the motion transfer result from iMotion to Human IK Control Rig to Custom Rig. If you want, you can adjust the motion retargeting results in the mapping controls like so, to further customize the rest of your motion. So, there you have it. That's how you take iMotions and use them on your own custom character rigs in Maya.